Um, we have about 40 to 60 different species in our garden. We get about 500 pupa in a week so that we keep about a thousand butterflies in our garden at any one time. Most of them come from Costa Rica. Some of them come from Ecuador, Malaysia. Um, we get a few species from Africa. They come from butterfly farmers. Um, so these butterfly farmers, instead of growing a food crop, what they'll grow is a host plants for the butterfly caterpillars. They'll get a couple of butterflies and they'll wait for the eggs to hatch. And once the eggs hatch, they take and put the tiny little caterpillars on a plant. Then they'll net the plant so that birds can't eat them or the caterpillar can't crawl away. And once that plant has been completely eaten, they'll move the caterpillars to another plant and they do this until the caterpillars become a chrysalis. And once they become a chrysalis, they pack them and ship them to us to put in our butterfly garden. Our pupa have a lot of neat camouflage, um, a lot of neat ways that they camouflage themselves. They can look like dried leaves, they can look like bright gold metallic. They also, one in particular, looks like a little stick with moss growing on it and I find that one very interesting because if you were to see that on a, hanging from a little twig on a bush or a branch, you wouldn't know that was a chrysalis. It would look, it would be very well camouflaged. When we go out to do a butterfly release, one of the funnest parts of the job is when you get to put a butterfly on a little kid's hand and they're completely fascinated by that butterfly that's so close to them. It's very fun. I really enjoy it.